So you wanna plan a California RV road trip. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my 15 day itinerary and route that myself and my family took along the Pacific Coast Highway. That includes what we did, where we stayed, where we ate, as well as tips and advice to assure you and your family an unforgettable experience. I'll also be sharing what things cost, as well as our top RV resources for finding free overnight parking, as well as our favorite RV apps that will help guide you along your way. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kristen Sarah, and for the last five years, my husband and I, as well as our four-year-old daughter and our pup, have been traveling around North America in our Airstream home. But for this trip, we actually rented an RV from Cruise America. The cost for a 15-day rental was $3,160 US dollars for a standard five-person motorhome, which allowed us to pick up the RV in San Diego and drop it off in Portland, Oregon. This fee also included kitchen kits and bedding, which unless you're bringing your own, you'll need, and liability insurance. Okay, so let's talk about the route. It looked a little something like this. San Diego, to Los Angeles, to Santa Barbara, to Paso Robles, to San Francisco, to the Redwoods, and then ending in Coos Bay, Oregon. Depending on which direction you're coming from, you can start the trip in either San Diego or Portland, Oregon. We chose to start in San Diego, and we did this trip in February, which I highly recommend. It was perfect, the weather was temperature was awesome, but it's California, it's hot all year round, so you can really do it throughout the whole year. You can see photos and watch videos of people driving along the PCH, but until you experience it for yourself, you just don't realize how incredible the views are. We recommend spending the first two nights at San Outdoors San Diego Bay. This is an RV resort with all the works. Full RV hookups with propane fire pits and picnic tables, Wi-Fi, cable, swimming pool, hot tub, fitness center, dog park, playground for both kids and adults, and scheduled activities for kids like arts and crafts. Standard full 30 to 50 amp hookup spots start at 100 USD per night. This would be a back-end site. Prices vary slightly during high and low season, and you can upgrade your site to deluxe, pull-through, premium, or elite for an additional cost. For all of the Sun Outdoor RV parks that I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the baseline price, like so the very minimum price for a standard RV site, but those prices vary throughout the year, and how it works is on availability. So the closer you get to like when you're actually traveling, the RV parks fill up, and they're gonna charge you more for the spots that are available. There's plenty to do nearby Sun Outdoors San Diego Bay, such as Aquatica Water Park for water fun, Third Avenue for shopping and sunset at Imperial Beach. We recommend getting some takeout at one of the restaurants along the strip and going to the beach for a sunset picnic. And now a short break to hear from our sponsor. There is one thing that I hate about RVs, and it's those disgusting foam mattresses that come with some of them. They are smelly, toxic, and very uncomfortable to sleep on, which is why I am grateful for Brooklyn Bedding. Brooklyn Bedding is the first company I found that makes RV mattresses which are sized to fit in spaces regular mattresses wouldn't, while still being a high quality mattress. There are so many people in the world right now living in and renovating RVs, mobile homes, and vans. It's a lifestyle that has really exploded over the past few years. And if this is you, or you're in the planning stages of getting your own mobile home, do yourself a favor and order a quality mattress. You won't find an RV company with more selection than Brooklyn Bedding. We chose the Aurora Lux in a Twin XL, and it's the perfect size and comfort for our daughter's new space in our Airstream. We also ordered the EcoSleep Lux in Twin XL, which isn't part of their RV mattress line, but our daughter sleeps on it at home when we aren't on the road. The company literally has 36,000 positive reviews, and they offer a 120 night risk-free trial on their products. And Brooklyn Bedding is offering Hopscotch the Globe viewers a 20% off discount from their line. Just enter discount code Kristen and Sia. Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding. Now back to planning your California road trip. So nice. Now we're moving on to day three to five, and it's in Los Angeles. We stayed at Doc Weiler RV Park in Playa del Rey, and this RV park has all the basic amenities such as 
washrooms, showers, as well as laundry, and you're parked right on the beach, which is so nice. A back row hookup site is gonna cost you $65 per night. Since you're in LA, there's endless things to do here. You could spend months and months and never run out of things to do. But for the sake of time, some highlights and free things to do in the area include hiking to the Hollywood sign. Well, not right to the Hollywood sign. You can get pretty close where you can get a really good photo. Taking a walk down Venice Beach or West Hollywood, spending the day at the beach. There are so many incredible restaurants nearby and some of our favorites are The Butcher's Daughter, Cafe Gratitude, and Wallflower. For Dockweiler, you have to make reservations at least 90 days before you're traveling and, and staying at the place. You cannot just show up there last minute. Moving on to day five through seven, we're heading on over to Sun Outdoors Santa Barbara. This RV resort is situated in Santa Barbara where the ocean meets the mountains and creates a stunning backdrop for activities and adventure. For a full 30 to 50 amp hookup, it starts at $80 per night. Each site also includes a picnic table and a fire pit with a half moon grill for outdoor cooking plus cable and Wi-Fi. The resort has a pool, hot tub, playground, dog park, and movie nights under the stars. Across the street from the RV park is a nice beach to spend the day at. You can just walk right over, no car required. But if you want to drive, it'll cost you $10 to enter. We also recommend taking the short drive into town, which is definitely worth exploring. I also recommend heading into town and checking out the restaurants, the cafes, the wine bars. There's so much to explore in town. And also I recommend going on a whale watching tour, which departs from the Santa Barbara Harbor. We went with a company called Condor Express and it costs $70 per adult. Children five to 12 are $50 and children under five are free. And that was for a two and a half hour tour. And yes, we saw a whale. We saw a whale, yeah. Was it cool? Uh, yeah. Now moving on to day seven through nine, we're heading over to Paso Robles. If you love wine and olives, you'll love this stop. Driving from Sun Outdoors Santa Barbara to Sun Outdoors Paso Robles, which is where we stayed, will take just under two hours along the PCH. Sun Outdoors Paso Robles is a beautiful RV resort located in wine country amongst nature. A full 30 to 50 amp hookup starts at around $99 per night and includes cable, Wi-Fi, a picnic table, in a freestanding fire pit for your outdoor enjoyment. This resort has a yummy farmhouse bistro, splash pad, swimming pools, wellness center, dog parks, and weekend entertainment like live comedy, music, and dance performances every weekend. We spent the afternoon at Sculptera, which is a winery and outdoor sculpture museum. We did a wine tasting which cost $20 per person and we were able to choose six wines from their menu. We also walked around the sculpture garden which our daughter loved and had a picnic in the garden. For olive tasting, we went to Paso Olivo. That's a big olive. That's a big olive. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. All the olive oils, balsamics and spices are all locally sourced if they're not from this property and all organic. It costs $5 per person for a tasting, but if you end up buying a bottle of olive oil or olives, it is free. Moving on to day nine through 10, we're gonna be taking a stop at the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. The next two nights you'll be off grid, so fill up water tanks, charge your batteries, fill your propane and gas tanks, and prepare for epic views. Your next stop on this route will be the famous Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, where you can spend the night for free. There's a parking lot on the north end of the bridge where many vans and smaller RVs can park for one night. It is totally legal to park here overnight, just for one night. Uh, you can't stay sleeping in your vehicle more than eight hours. We found the spot on an app called iOverlander, which is a tool created by RVers for RVers, which allows you to submit and find information and reviews on parks, campgrounds, wild camping, and free overnight RV parking spots. And be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna be sharing eight other ways to find free overnight parking and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. The pros, you get the best view of Golden Gate Bridge and you can take a photo with no one there and beat the crowd early in the morning. Have I mentioned that it's free? Cons. It can be loud at night because you're right beside Highway 101 and you have to make sure you lock your doors and keep your valuables on you hidden because break-ins do occur. Now moving on to day 10 through 11, you're making your way to the Redwoods, but first you are about to drive along the best 
most beautiful part of the Pacific Coast Highway. It will be one of the most epic places you ever sleep in your life. We found the spot on iOverlander as well. Good morning from the most beautiful place we have ever slept. Wow! Oh my god! I like that we're going slower and just getting to experience places like this and not feel rushed. Once we headed back on the road again, we even saw a mama cow give birth on the side of the road. This was like one of the best days, I gotta say. This is a brand new baby right here. Like, look, the mother is like still giving birth to the placenta. Wow, look at that, right? Like that baby's brand new. It's all wet. Like. Feel free to stop anywhere for some stretching and relieve yourself, but a nice stop we took was at Sonomo State Park for a bit of a hike and break from driving. The thing that I love about road trips and just travel in general are the in-between moments. There's certain things that you plan for, but the real magic of travel happens in between places. Roar! Like playing with your family on the beach and, you know, enjoying sunset in a spectacular place that you never knew was here. Moving on to day 11 through 13, it's gonna get really, really magical now because you're heading to the Redwoods. If you are outdoor enthusiasts like myself and my family, then a visit to the Redwoods is most likely at the top of your bucket list. And let me tell you this, it is even more magnificent than I could have ever imagined. We recommend spending two nights here to really soak up the tranquility and magic these wise, gentle giants will provide for you. Burlington Campground is located next to the visitor center on the Avenue of the Giants, approximately two miles south of Wyatt. The campground has 57 sites in old and second growth redwoods and three hike and bike sites for visitors arriving on foot or bicycle. Across the street is a short nature trail that leads to the river where there is swimming and fishing and other hiking trails. This is a campground and does not include any hookups, so you'll be dry camping. And therefore, you'll want to plan accordingly by filling up your tanks and charging all your devices ahead of time. They only allow vans and RVs up to 24 feet, so this actually isn't a place we could have brought our Airstream, so luckily we had our rented RV. It's $35 per night and includes one vehicle. Each additional vehicle costs $8 per night. What to do here? Well, you can easily spend a few days just sticking around the campground without having to leave. That's what we did. We literally spent two days forest bathing and feeling like new people. You love the tree, Kai Kai? Yes. Are you giving the tree a hug and feeling its energy? Yes. How does it feel? Hug it, hug it and, and tell me how it feels. It feels really good. Yeah? Yeah. And do you want to see a baby tree? I would love to see a baby tree. Hey, let's see. Take off. A baby tree is amazing. It is. That is a baby tree. Now it's off to your last stop on this route, which is Coos Bay, Oregon. We stayed at San Outdoors Coos Bay, and it took just over five hours to get there. This was the longest stretch yet, but we got up early and did it all in one day. So here is day 13 through 15, and you're gonna be staying at San Outdoors Coos Bay, as I mentioned, which is located on the Oregon coast. Each RV site is located just steps away from the Pacific Ocean. Some highlights from this park include tide pools on their pet-friendly beach, 
as well as fishing and crabbing adventures. Full 30 to 50 amp hookups start at $52 per night and include cable, Wi-Fi, plus a picnic table and fire pit. Close by, you can go hiking in state parks. There's wineries, there's museums, there's whale watching, there's even hot air balloon rides you can take. We also recommend riding in a dune buggy through Oregon Dunes National Recreational Center. Sia did this and had a blast. It's just been like an hour of amazing dunes and awesome forest paths and going up and down hills. It, it feels like a roller coaster. Like some of these hills are super steep. The tour was two hours long and cost $299 for a single rider buggy. And that is the route. This trip was absolutely incredible, but don't just take my word for it, go and find out for yourself. It's also important to know that I highly suggest booking these RV spots in advance because they will fill up fast and you don't want to wait till the last minute and then have a chance of not being able to get a spot at these RV parks. And now, as promised, if you want to find out how to get free overnight RV parking, we have a separate video that teaches you eight different ways to do just that so you can go and check it out. I want to give a special thanks again to Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in the middle of a van build looking to renovate your RV or Airstream or just want to upgrade your RV sleeping situation, head on over to rvmattress.com and there's so many mattresses for you to choose from. We all know how important good sleep is and Brooklyn Bedding will help you get that good sleep after a day filled with adventure on the road. And when you head on over to the checkout, be sure to use discount code Kristen and Sia to get 20% off. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy travels.